Hi guys, welcome to yet another transfer update. Yeah, today, well it's just the same as the last few days, it just feels like at the moment I'm just saying the exact same thing. Thomas Lamar again, all the rumours are going around about Thomas Lamar. Um, we're supposedly close to a £45 million deal. Um, Wenger definitely wants him, he said it in his press conference yesterday. I, I do think, I mean, people keep saying... Well, if we're playing this 3-4-3 formation, we don't really need him. But if you look at Man U last season with the Europa League, all these things, you need a big squad because you're going to get injuries. You've got the Europa League, the FA Cup. If you want to compete in all these competitions, you've got to keep, you've got to have a large squad. And I think as well as Arsenal and Sanchez, we do need more players in that position. I mean, we've got a Wobi, we've got Theo Walcott who can play there. But he's not really that efficient there. I mean, he hasn't shown himself to be brilliant in that position, just by the strike in that left-right forward role. Um, and other than them, not a lot else. I mean, you could put Aaron Ramsey in those positions. You could even put um, Jack Wilshere when he comes back. You could even put Oxley chamberlain in that position, but that's not his best, I think. Um, but yeah, I think Thomas Lamar will be an excellent addition. Um, obviously, Lucas Perez looks like he's leaving now, so we do need that sort of player who can play in those attacking roles. Um, so yeah, those rumours heavy, heavy today. There's more today. Um, been linked with uh, Blaise Matuidi again, who's he's a fantastic player, but for me, mm, I think we do need us another centre mid. This is a video I'll do more in depth. I mean, I've considered it more, and I think. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary, but I think there's one player in particular who, if we can get him for the price that's been offered, then we should go for him because I think he makes such a big difference to literally any team. He's an unbelievable player. Um, but I'll tell you about that in another video. Further rumours today about outgoings. Um, Olivier Giroud looks like he could leave the club. I mean, he said that it's an option. Supposedly, he said it's an option to leave. Um, Ahmed Everton transfer rumours. Um, do I want Giroud to leave? I mean, no. I've said it. He's such a he is such a good plan B, such a different option to the likes of Welbeck and Lacazette. We can bring him on when we can't break that down that down that defence. So, you know, put loft the ball into him. Get him on the end of headers. He was he's effective last season in it. I remember games against Swansea, West Brom. Um, Man U, where he came on and he got a goal. Well, I don't think he came on against West Brom, but he got a goal and or two, and he saved us some points. And he's just, if we want to change our game up, he, we can bring him on. We should not be selling him. But I do understand what if he would like to to leave. I mean, if you look at it from his perspective, uh, on the World Cup next year, if he's playing behind. Lacazette at his own club, it's not going to look great for his World Cup chances. I mean, it wouldn't look great for Deschamps, but I think Deschamps likes him anyway. But you can understand him wanting to leave if he's not going to get the game time. But yeah, obviously the outgoings, Ozil and Sanchez as well. Just Ozil today, it it looks like he's compl I I said he would stay all along. There's been so many examples of him probably staying, like with his involvement in the tour, all these media stuff. Um, him renewing his box at the Emirates and today he said um, he, he definitely wants to stay it's a great club um, and yeah I think that's great I think he'll definitely stay I think he'll be brilliant just behind Lacazette he's finally got a more mobile striker who he can play through balls through other than Santa Giroud who's not really got the pace he's not got the movement while Lacazette's movement is excellent he can play those balls in behind you would say Welbeck but Welbeck isn't quite the prolific finisher he has got that movement um, but yeah Ozil lo looks much better when he has that brilliant striker in front of him so yeah I think he'll be he'll be much better next season hopefully and yeah I, I can't wait to see him tomorrow um, if I watch the match which is pre-season friendly so I probably won't I mean it's Sydney FC. But anyway, yeah, the Sanchez room is just still going around. <laughs> I have literally no idea what's happening, but Hector Bellerin as well. I just want these deals to be... I don't know why we can't just get them done, but we'll have to wait and see on them. And, yeah, I'll see you next time.
uh, for analysis videos and, and transfer updates and that. So yeah. I just wanna feel